Here is a quick tutorial on how the editor works on stickersatstick.com. Once you go to the website, you will fill out what you would like for your stickers. The cut line, I would like contour cut. The size, I actually want something pretty specific so you can enter in your custom size. So I want it to be 3.3 by 3.5. My quantity, I would like 300 and the material I'll leave at vinyl stickers because I can change that later. I would then upload my image and be brought into the editor. In here, there's a few different options that you can change, but if what you see right away looks good, you can actually save and check out. But I'll show you what we can do to change things. So first, if we don't like the cut line, we can go and change it. Maybe I would like a larger cut line or a medium cut line or a smaller cut line. For these stickers, I don't want this little part here to be cut open, so I'm gonna go with a large cut line. Or if I wanted to, I could change this to be a rounded rectangle in which I could scale this with these corners and center it with these arrows here. Or we could make it square with sharp corners or a circle and oval. But I do like the contour cut, so I'm gonna choose large for these. Since I scaled it down, the size did change, so I'm going to go back up to the 3.5 that I wanted. Now we can go to the next thing. We have the materials. So in here, we can change the materials to see kind of what it would look like if we were to get one of the special materials. Here is the glitter effect, which is going to be glitter on the background. The text is staying white because I have that white in my file. Or if I wanted to see what holographic would look like, you would get a basic idea of how it would look. Or craft paper so on and so forth. I'm going to stick with the vinyl stickers for this one. However, I do think I want to have a different background color than white. So in here, I will use the background color picker and here I can change any color that I would want using this sliding color bar. Um, I think I'm going to go with something a little bit blue because it's kind of a water themed sticker. I think that looks pretty nice and I'm almost finished. One thing that I do might want to add is a text. Here you can add something like a website, a phone number, an email address, or anything that you would ever want. So you can just type in your text here, use the arrows here to scale it to the size that you would want, and then you can change again the color and the font. Since I actually don't need any more text, since I'm just doing my logo as a sticker, I'm going to remove that. You can also use our clip arts, which has fun little watercolor clip arts that you might want to add. But since I'm just doing my logo, I think I'm just going to go with this. Once I'm ready, I can go ahead and save and check out.